All right, this is Josh Duncan from Xenos. I'm here with John Cowsey, one of our product engineers, and we're going to talk about the JSON API. So, uh, John, what is the JSON API? Well, uh, it's, a, it's interesting that you ask. Now, the JSON API is a new addition to Xenos 3.0, something that we just recently released. And it's a way for you to externally interact with Xenos from any sort of scripts or, or processes that you might have outside of the Xenos server. So somewhere else inside of your company or somewhere on the internet, you can command and control Xenos. All right, John, so why did we add the, the JSON API to, with the latest release? The JSON API was added uh, when we did a major UI revamp here for 3.0, which I'm sure that you've seen using the product. Um, now that it's all AJAX based, the same API that we use for the actual JavaScript side interactions is the same API that you can access through, through JSON now. So more or less anything that you can do through the UI, you can now do programmatically through JSON. So now why don't you tell us what's the difference between the Zenpack architecture that Xenos has and the, the new JSON API? Sure. The Zenpack architecture is there and it's, it's, it's explicitly for integrating with the core of Xenos itself. So if you want to write an extension to Xenos, maybe a new device modeler or, or some other uh, some other Zenpack that would actually modify the core functionality of Xenos on the server itself, that's when you'd want to use a Zenpack. The JSON API is useful when you want to command and control your Xenos installation from afar, from an ex external process of some sort or another. <laughs> All right, so now that we've talked about what the JSON API is, how about an example of uh, how you could use this in the real world? Sure. Um, there, are, there are a few really good use cases. Another one is if you have an automated build system like Puppet or Chef, you can script in an automatic addition of your newly uh, built and deployed device automatically into Xenos. A uh, host of other examples, say you had an external management interface or portal tool that you wanted to query data out of Xenos for, you could easily use the API to automatically get your new events and uh, any, other, any other sort of data that you, that you need out of Xenos for whatever your external application might be. All right, so John, now that I understand the JSON API and what it can be used for, where do I find out more and get into some of the specific details? Sure. Uh, all of our documentation is, for, for the API is, is along with the normal Xenos documentation. It's available on our website. And uh, we have a number of examples, both in Python and in Java, and an example program to get you, to get you started on, uh, on your way through the JSON API. All right, great, John. Thanks for your time today. I appreciate well, it. Thank you.